so excited. I'm going to life drawing tonight. I haven't been in like a couple of months. I hope that I do some good drawings and it's a lot of fun and it loosens me up. Today I finished this painting, just a little self portrait. I don't know, it's just a little study, sleepy me. But this was very like detailed and fine. So it'll be nice to do life drawing, quick drawings and loosen it up. Yep. What you mean? You should live here and travel with Mr. Max McCandles and Baxter abroad. Get it. <laughs> It is your body, Bella Baxter, yours to give freely. It is a part of it, maybe. I just wanted to take a moment to talk about some of my favorite films that I watched this month. So one of the first films I want to talk about is this movie called Scrapper. It was released last year and it's this beautiful coming of age film, very British, very dry humor. If there's one thing you watch, watch Scrapper because it is a gorgeous film and really simply done but super effective. Leading on from that, I also watched The Iron Claw, which also has Harris Dickinson in it. Um, I had no idea about the story behind this film. 
um, and I went in with also not a lot of knowledge about um, American wrestling and I find the wrestling quite interesting and fascinating and I don't really get it but I really love this movie if you've seen the movie you know that it's quite impactful and um, the story is really full on but I really liked all the performances. I was definitely tearing up at the end. So I definitely recommend that film. I did a rewatch of Poor Things, which is now one of my all time favorites. I watched it about four months ago and fell in love with it. But I've also loved a lot of Yorgos's previous works. I did a rewatch of The Favorite and loved it, obviously. There's a particular scene when um, Emma Stone's character and Joe Alwyn's character are running around in the forest. That's my favorite scene of the whole film. It's so good. Olivia Coleman and Rachel Weisz in that are phenomenal. And it's like very funny, but really interesting to see all the dynamics and how they play out. And the set in that is divine. I want to live there. This month, I've actually watched a couple of war films, um, which is odd for me because I don't generally like war films, but I did a 1917 watch to show my mum the film. I love this movie. I've seen it many times. And re-watching it, it was better than the last time that I watched it. I don't know what it is, even though I know what's going to happen in the story, I still found it mesmerizing and just such a beautiful war film. Leading on from that, I actually watched All Quiet on the Western Front, which was released in 2022, but I hadn't gotten around to it. And I watched it recently and it was so harrowing, but so well done. I loved the soundtrack and it was really nice to see the German perspective and I'd watched the British perspective in 1917 a few days before. So yeah, there's some of the movies that I watched. Mm -hmm.